He said, then the spirit passed before my face. Then the heirs of my body stood up. He stood still, but I could not discern his appearance. If you want to, you can set traps for spirits. In case you want to know the spirit that is troubling you, you can set trap for spirits. You'll be able to know when a spirit enters and you have a conversation with that spirit. It's very possible. You see, you must learn to fall into what they call coma. Have you ever slept on your chair before? You were not expected to sleep or maybe you slept in the church. Something like and you woke up. You went into a coma state. And if you notice, why you went into that coma, you might see something else. As if you saw a vision of him. You are in a coma. If you really want to meet a spirit, let a spirit always come to you. Whether it's a marine wife, Maria, that knows you, you know it. If you have practiced coma, it's a trap. You just, you do as if you are sleeping. Because spirits, you can't send spirit until your flesh is dead. So your flesh has to die. Then you are consciously awake, partially awake, partially asleep. Then if a spirit comes to you, you know. But it's, 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 it's a lot of practice before you can get to that state. Because some people, once they enter the coma, they enter slumber. So you can't know when the, the, the spirit will just do what it came to do and go. If a spirit came to your house, to your room, to attack you, and you woke up, that spirit has not gone far. It's still there. That's why sometimes you wake up and you are scared. It's still there. If a spirit comes to your house, they harass you, they press you, and you just wake, woke up that moment, start to address it. They are there, they are there. That is the best. I call them by name. It's you that pressed me. Come here in the name of Jesus. But some people, they are too scared. True, true. When you say, come here in the name of, they will come. They are ministering spirits. They hear command. In the name of Jesus, I don't want to see you in this place again. If you don't resist them, they will keep on coming. When you summon a spirit to say, come here in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you next time, don't ever come into this room to torment me or my children again. Now get out of here. They will never come. You, you address it at the right time and you have resisted them. They will flee. All sickness, spirit at the cause. All evil thoughts, spirit at the cause. All wickedness in the nation, spirit at the cause. All the battles in marriage, spirit at the cause. All stubborn children, spirit at everything we are talking about, spirit at the cause. And they attach themselves by word. And it is by word you break their hold over your life. Keep on whispering to you. Keep on telling you, no, there's no way out again for you. That's what they say. And when you keep on mastering that word, you become joined to that word, then you say, nothing can work for me again. It was not you before. A spirit spoke, and you became one with that word, and now you say, you address yourself by what the spirit said. Say, I am a failure. Meanwhile, there's a spirit of failure. Any spirit that have joined themselves to you, I break you free from them. Any spirit that have joined themselves to you, I break you free from them. You will do signs and wonder this season. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.